Hi, everyone. My name is Eric, and I'm a Six Sigma black belt professional with nearly two decades of experience in analyzing lean Six Sigma data using Minitab. Every industry is identified by a niche tool. For example, to create or edit pictures, most graphic designers prefer Photoshop. And when it comes to working with documents, professionals blindly trust MS Word. Similarly, when it's the question of efficiency analyzing statistical data, a majority of Six Sigma experts rely on Minitab. For us, Minitab is not just any other software, but the only way to analyze and improve a business process. Now let's begin this course by introducing you to Minitab. The following screen explains the objectives covered in this lesson. After completing this lesson, you will be able to comprehend the overview and importance of Minitab, review the worksheet format and structure, define data window column conventions, define other data window conventions, and discuss the menu bar options. In this topic, you'll learn about the overview and importance of Minitab. As we all know, Six Sigma is a set of quality management techniques and tools used for improving followed business processes. But the important thing to learn here is that these techniques rely on statistics and actual data that is gathered only after analyzing the practiced processes. So the next question is, what is the role of a professional with a Six Sigma black belt? In simple words, such a professional first identifies the pain areas in the followed process, then uses different tools and data formats to arrive at an optimum solution, implements the agreed strategy, and most importantly, monitors the changes. This is the exact purpose of this course. We provide you with a problem in the form of different case studies, use related tools to arrive at a strategy, and lastly, see you implement the changes. Now let's come to Minitab. This is a software designed specifically for the needs of Six Sigma practitioners. It aids in effectively simplifying the input of statistical data, manipulating that data, identifying trends and patterns, and extrapolating answers to the problem at hand. That's a rather simplistic way of describing this vital and extremely effective tool. Moreover, Minitab uses a series of elements to help Six Sigma practitioners work with data and statistics. These elements are box plots, scatter plots, and histograms. They collectively provide the ability to calculate descriptive statistics. Six Sigma and Minitab are often mentioned in the same breath. If Six Sigma professionals are trained in the use of hard data, why do they need software to accomplish their tasks? Analyzing data is an important part of Six Sigma, but the truth is also that Six Sigma is beyond analyzing data. While Six Sigma professionals are skilled at interpreting data, a software like Minitab is vital in determining the real underlying cause of problems within a process, which makes problem solving a much faster and easier process. In simple words, Minitab provides a quick and effective solution for the level of analysis required in most Six Sigma projects. You may be thinking, can't we just use Excel? We'll say yes and no. If you're using Excel to solve business problems and implement different Six Sigma tools, you would have to employ macros. But we all know only a handful of professionals can effectively implement macros. On the other hand, Minitab offers a highly user-friendly interface, and all it expects from you is to enter correctly structured data. On your screen, you can see the first eight key features of the newest edition of Minitab, which is Minitab 17. Let's learn more about each of them. We begin with basic statistics. This covers descriptive statistics, statistical tests, correlation, and covariance. The next is graphics. As a professional, you would use this feature to create different types of graphs, such as scatter plots, matrix plots, box plots, and probability plots. Moreover, this feature enables you to make and export custom graphs into different image formats. While performing any statistical analysis, a key feature is to estimate relationships between variables. Industry experts term this feature as regression. 
Minitab enables you to perform different regressions, such as linear and nonlinear, binary, nominal, ordinal, and others. Next, Minitab supports testing differences between two or more means. This technique is referred as analysis of variance. The software enables you to analyze this data using key tools, such as analysis of variance, or ANOVA, multivariate analysis of variance, or MANOVA, and general linear model. Now let's introduce you to the feature of statistical process control. It enables you to create cause and effect diagrams, variables control charts, attribute control charts, time-weighted control charts, multivariate control charts, acceptance sampling, and measure process capability. The sixth feature on this screen is of measurement system analysis. You would do this analysis to determine how much of your process variance arises from variation in your measurement system. This feature enables you to provide type 1 gauge study analysis and three types of gauge repeatability and reproductibility analysis, namely expanded, crossed, and nested. All these analysis recognize deficiencies in your measurement system. Next, you'll learn about the feature of design of experiments, or DOE. Anything that deals with experiments is bound to be interesting. With this feature, you can identify the cause and effect relationship. In other words, you can create and manage different experiment designs by entering a certain value and recording its corresponding output. This process of designing different experiments enables you to arrive at the exact method to optimize your process output. Finally, on this screen, we see the feature of reliability or survival. This is used to select the best distribution for modeling life data. Moreover, it provides you with tools for estimating a variety of functions that describe distribution. On your screen, you can see the other seven key features of Minitab 17. Let's learn more about each of them. We begin these set of features with power and sample size. The power of a test can be determined as the probability of correctly rejecting a null hypothesis when it is false. The power size is directly proportional to the sample size. This means as the sample size increases, the power also increases. Next, we'll learn about the feature of multivariate analysis. This consists of different procedures used to analyze data when multiple measurements are made on items or subjects. Using this feature, you can perform different tests, such as factor analysis, discriminant analysis, cluster k-means, and others. The third feature on our list is time series and forecasting procedures. These are used to analyze data that is collected over a period of time and provide outputs such as simple forecasting, correlation analysis, ARIMA modeling, and others. Next on our list is non-parametric tests. Minitab supports different non-parametric tests, such as sign test, Kruskal-Wallis, Mann-Whitney tests, and others. Now we begin with the countdown. The number five on our list is equivalence tests. These tests are used to determine whether the mean values for any product or process measurements can be considered as equivalent. Number six is simulations and distributions. Through this feature, you can randomly generate number, identify density, and perform different cumulative distribution functions and random sampling. Finally, we have the feature of macros and customization. This feature enables you to customize menus and toolbars and use its macro capabilities. Moreover, the feature supports COM-enabled automation. Minitab offers an assistant that provides help on all topics. Moreover, you can use the built-in tutorials for learning the use of any given feature.